it's Saturday evening and I'm having a little treat. I don't normally drink that much red wine nowadays. It's usually a gin with a tonic, but I couldn't resist this fantastic red wine called 19 Crimes. Came across it several years ago, quite by chance. Um, I moved new location and found this really wonderful um, off license, an independent one. And every time I went in, I would just try something random off the recommendation of the people who work there. I don't know if you remember Odd Bins in the UK. They were a top end off license and they had little descriptions on every bit of wine that was in there underneath. They knew the wine, they tasted it, there was wine tastings. I went to many events with those over the years and it was a similar sort of setup, but an independent one. They do it in red, they do it in white and today I've just discovered that they do it in a rosé, I believe. I'm just trying to find the list here. I've just got all the wines coming up. The 19 Crimes Shard Wine, the 19 Crimes The Uprising, 19 Crimes The Banished. And then we have the new Revolutionary Rosé, 19 Crimes Red Wine, 19 Crimes The Deported, <laughs> and 19 Crimes Cabernet Sauvignon with a red wine box. But there is one really clever little feature that they have. The labels on the bottles have got a QR code built in. Watch this. Convicted of crime 18. Spared the hangman's noose. Banished to Australia. I found true love in the most unlikely of places. I was banished to Australia for crimes against the Crown. They believed my story was over, but it was merely the beginning. On the website, it does give you a little insight as to how this all came to be and if you know what the 19 crimes are. 19 crimes turned convicts into colonists. Upon conviction, British rogues guilty of at least one of the 19 crimes were sentenced to live in Australia rather than death. This punishment by transportation, you can imagine, began in 1787 and many of them died at sea. Now, I don't know exactly what the 19 crimes is, but let's see if I can find it. So the list of crimes or offences range from grand larceny um, to stealing a shroud out of a grave. So I'm just going to pour it out. I love a goblet. I'm not a wine glass girl. I find that very thin paper felt like step could just snap at any minute and you'd be covered in red wine, which probably wouldn't be a bad thing. <laughs> But as I don't, ooh, I love that sound. <laughs> so here we are, cheers. Oh, that is seriously smooth. If you're after a, a velvety, plummy, berry, red wine, full bodied, Love a bit of a story, great for a around the table supper or dinner party. And you can show them how the label and they'll think you're miraculous. So if you're looking, great idea for a date. There you are. If you want to have a little story to go with something, a little um, interaction there, that would be good icebreaker, I think. So there we are. Have a lovely Saturday evening. Bye for now.